Hi everyone, welcome to Stitching Cuisines. Today I woke up and the weather is gloomy in San Diego. So I said, hey, I'm going to cook my one of my favorite meals, imsakhan. What I like about this meal that it includes the big tanur bread that is cooked over a stone. And I know that some of my viewers has, have been waiting for this meal. And Alia Taha, this is specially for you. For imsakhan, it's better to use a whole chicken. I already cut my chicken, soaked it in water with vinegar, vinegar and salt for 30 minutes. Now I'm going to mix all my spices in one plate. Now I'm going to mix my spices. Here is the black pepper, seven spices, cinnamon, safflower, the nutmeg, the cloves, the cardamom and the salt. Mix everything together like that. And now the first step, I'm going to put the garlic over the chicken. Make sure that the garlic will reach all parts of the chicken. The garlic smells so good. <laughs> now I'm going to... I prefer to put the spices over each part of the chicken. Like that. Wow! All these spices make the chicken smells delicious. Make sure that covers everything here. There is wonderful aroma coming from the chicken. Wow. I left a little bit of the spices. I'm going to use it later with the onions. Final steps, we'll squeeze the whole lemon over the chicken. And I'm going to leave the chicken soaked in these spices and lemon for 30 minutes. After marinating our chicken and spices for 30 minutes, now it's time to cook them. So, turn on the heat on high, add the corn oil. I'm going to add one sliced onion. Sprinkle cumin. This will prevent from bloating. I'm going to saute the onion for two to three minutes only before I add the chicken. Now it's time to add the chicken. The onion, the cumin, the spices to create a marvelous meal. Can you smell that? Oh, I wish you are here. We mix now the chicken with the onion. Now I'm going to add one cup of water and make sure not to pour it over the chicken in order not to lose the spices. I'm going to pour it on the side, as you see. Oops, okay. And mix it. I'm going to cover my pot and leave the chicken to cook. Can you smell the aroma? <laughs> <laughs> An important part of the meal is the onion. It brings the whole meal together. I will turn on the heat on high first. Then I will add the corn oil. I will add the olive oil. 
I will add the onions. I used one sliced onion for the chicken. Now here I'm going to use two sliced onions. As I mentioned before, I will sprinkle some cumin because it prevents you from bloating. Just saute the onion for a little bit with the cumin. And now, do you remember when I left aside some spices? Here is the rest of the spices. I'm not going to leave anything in my plate. And now I will saute the, saute the onion. I will keep cooking the onions until it's lightly brown. Make sure not to burn it. And then lower the heat, let the heat on medium and cover your onions. Now our chicken is ready. Look how delicious it looks, wow. And the smell. I'm going to transfer it into our Pyrex here. Facing up. Oh, it already smells so good. Yeah, and wait for the taste, honey. Our cooked chicken is ready, and for our last step, I'm going to place it in the oven to broil. You know, it doesn't need a lot of time, maybe, you know, five minutes or less. That's it. The chicken is ready, the onions is ready, and the water that I cooked the chicken in is ready. I ran out quickly this morning just to buy the tanuri bread. I love watching them making it over the stone. Msakhan is authentic Palestinian meal. It's well known in Palestine. It's time to put everything together. First, I will cut the tanuri bread into eight pieces. Let me do it like that. And after cutting it into eight pieces, I'm going to soak it into the water and add some onions, sprinkle some sumac. Now look, it's like a triangle, it's like the pizza spices, slices. Now I cut the, the tanuri bread into eight pieces. I'm going to start with the next step. Soak it in the water I have, the water with all the spices. Look. Number one. Here is each one alone and make sure that the water will cover the whole bread. The last two pieces of bread. And here is the last one. Now for our next step, I will add the onions. <laughs> here it is. I'm going to cover the whole bread with our onions. Onions with the common and look how beautiful it is. It's lightly brown. The 
edges, everything cover all sides. If you love onions, put everything. If you don't, you can put a little bit and spread it all around. Now we'll add the simak, the red color over our tanoori bread. Msakhan. I wish you are here with me to taste it. Now then I will put the chicken over our bread. Wow. Smells so good. I am sure it tastes so good. It looks great. And our last step will add simak over the chicken again. And we'll garnish our msakhan with the almonds. Tell me what do you think? Our authentic Palestinian meal, Mzakhan, is ready to eat. Traditionally, we eat this by our hands. We cut a piece of the bread with a piece of chicken, we wrap it and eat it. We can make a salad beside it. Alia, try this and let me know what you think. If you like this meal, Visit stitchingcuisines.com, subscribe to my YouTube channel, comment and share. See you next time. Ma'asalama.